Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. This video was recorded during a live stream where I attempted to go to Earth's moon, land on Earth's moon in IVA mode only and return back to Earth. There you see the Mark 1 lander can. It is equipped with raster prop monitor so it's easier than my stock version of the IVA only moon landing. And this setup is so that we don't have to do the docking that Apollo did. I'll try the docking version later, but this is straight to moon and back. The lander uh, does the uh, final part of the descent, the ascent, and the return home. And then the stage below it does the capture around uh, the moon and also the initial part of landing. And of course, the rest is a Saturn V. So I'll put a link in the video description for the full version of this. And that'll be on Twitch as a saved highlight file. It's about three hours long. This is the shortened version, but just in case you want to verify that I really did an IVA view the whole time, I've got the full version on Twitch saved. So with that, let's proceed with the original audio from the live stream. Uh, if we mess up this one, maybe next time we'll end up having to launch in the dark. Or is this time going to be a launch in the dark? Oh, uh, wait. No, it's it's just done. Yeah, but if we mess up this time, we might be launching completely in the dark. Okay, IVA time. We are in the fairing. Oh, the hmm, the what you call it? Uh, post processing. Is a little bit awkward. It makes it, uh, it goes dark briefly when I turn. It's a little bit distracting. It's left alt three. Alt three. Okay. Profile editor. Um, select profile. IBA. I bet I didn't turn off motion blur on IBA. Yeah, I turned it off in the flight mode. I forgot to turn it off in IBA. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit better. We can tweak that as necessary. So, relative inclination seems about as good as it's gonna get. Uh, throttle up, SAS on. All right. Uh, get all the controls. Feeling good. All right. Ignition. Launch. And don't turn too quickly. Okay. About one minute into the launch now. We're past the speed of sound. Uh. Should be through max Q at this point. T plus two minutes. Center engines out. I mean, have you ever been to max Q? I mean, everybody is reached a max Q at some point in their lives, their own personal little max Q. Okay, getting ready for the first, in, uh, first stage out. And set. And ignition. Because <laughs> I staged him at the same time instead of trying to complicate things. When I can't see anything. Okay, skirt set. Oh no, what happened? Uh oh. Um. No, why? Guys, what happened? Um, staging fairing. Okay, it was because I got into this view. How do I get out of this view again? Guys. Oh, double click, okay. Well, Earth looking fine there, yeah. We're a little bit high this time. 
I sure hope that it later's right. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Uh, oh, uh, this has the stage delta V. I have, I have that down there too, okay. Okay, center engine cut out. I'm letting myself go down a bit deliberately, so. Because we were a bit higher than we were supposed to be. Okay, separation and ignition. Ooh, got a little bit of an accidental yaw there. Now mind you, the view out the window, it's its not reflective of where we're pointing. Because it's at a 90 degree angle from where we're pointing, so it always looks weird. Okay, getting close to orbit now. And... shut down. Ah, oh, that's really high on the apoapsis, so I really should have leveled out the vertical speed more. 260 by 205. Based on previous experience, we want the moon 50 degrees below the horizon when we transfer. Okay, I think we'll... We, I really need to put persistent rotation on here, though. Oh, wait a minute, I do. Okay, fine. We have persistent rotation. <laughs> I think I was going like... Well, then persistently rotate before. Okay, SAS on. Maybe we'll stop that. All right. So I think we're pretty close to where we burn, actually. I mean, if my notes are correct. Okay. So let me set things up. Oh, wrong thing. Um. More a bit prograde. All right, and temporarily activate the J2 to see how much delta V we have. 3634.3. So we're expecting to end the burn at 513.3 meters per second left. That doesn't look like orbit prograde. Okay, J2 off. Wait. J2 is now reading. Oh, it's got some fluctuations in its number. That's not great. You can see the delta V reading there going all over the place as it gimbals, I suppose. Oh, wonderful. All right. Uh, J2 off. APS on. And J2 on. Do I have an apoapsis reading here? Not right now. Well, I want to keep Megcheb up there. So... We can go with that. I'm about halfway through. Delta V wise. Which is more than halfway through time wise. Uh, yeah, here we go. Big numbers piling up. Okay, we're a little bit past... Well, we're past on the stage delta V-wise, but the apoapsis should normally be about 393, so I'll keep it going for a little while with the APS. I don't know if I should go to an apoapsis of 393, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna separate from the J2 stage. All right, and let me sh make sure my RCS is working. So I'm gonna try and see if we can see the S4B stage by doing a simple rotation on one axis. Orbit map page? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, you mean this? 
Well... Well, we have an encounter of some sort. <laughs> I don't know how much we can see from that, but... We could go to a... Different posture, though. Maybe we should have a view of Earth if we can. But we need a view of Earth that involves... Still getting recharged. <laughs> so... Oh, see, I'm not getting recharged anymore. Oh, we're getting marginally recharged at that level. So I'll take that. Let's start time warping. Oh, wait, now we're not recharging. Oh, there it is. Oh, stop, stop. And what we got there? That's Madagascar, upside down. But we're not recharging right now. But we'll stick in this view for a little while. We're gonna be going into the nighttime side of Earth anyway. Okay, so we're there. We've got a long trip ahead of us. Hopefully the Earth doesn't block all our sunlight. I'm worried about this producer of electric charge has incoherent behavior. Last time, I mean, I don't know what else it might be miscalculating. Last time, Jeb came back with like 99% radiation, so I don't know. Who knows? We are gonna need a time warp faster than this. <laughs> oh. You can see the time to apoapsis there. You can basically assume that apoapsis is where the moon's gonna be. I mean, it's a good enough approximation, so... Well, I guess we'll wait. Nobody said a trip to the moon was gonna be quick. No, wait. Okay, we've uh, entered the moon's SOI. Our periapsis is really high. Okay, well, that's gonna be a problem. I don't know if that's gonna leave us with enough fuel. But we'll see. Let me see, what is our stage delta V? Okay, we haven't activated that yet. Throttle is down. And, um... All right, activating the engine. So it looks like we've got 3,475 to work with. So there wasn't too much boil off. We're pointed at real in. Selling fuel down. And ignition. Looking at the periapsis, making sure it goes down to a nice level. Three thousand kilometers. Two thousand. One thousand. And shut down. One twenty-four and a little bit of RCS should do the rest. 
We only have five ignitions with this engine. Time to wap waps. This is up there. Well, it's down there too, so that's redundant. We'll keep that. Okay. Three days, nearly five hours into the mission. I don't know if we're going to get a nice view of the moon, but let's kill that and... SAS is off. Electric charge is holding. Let's see if in the process of turning we spot the moon. Should be relatively sunward. We have limited RCS on this stage, so can't be puffing away too much. I guess we'll take that. I don't know if we're gonna get a view of the moon out the window just yet. Okay, continuing. Okay, I think we should do some moon sightings at 6,000 kilometers should be possible. Of course, in Apollo, they had mission control tell them, telling them where to point to get the best view of the moon and Earth and such. I'm sure somebody better at vectors would be able to figure out where exactly the moon is would be out this window as opposed to us pointing at it up there. Pointing at it up there is easy, you just point at the surface, but... Oh, there's the moon. Okay. Now we're talking. It's amazing how much not moon space there is with the moon still looking this big, but... There's a lot of it. Okay, that's too much moon. It's better to have the window for context. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn to retrograde at some point, but... Um, I feel like we should see the sunlit side. This is dark and dreary. Uh, not that way. Note that we're rolling. It looks like, through this window, it looks like yaw, but it's roll. So sad not too many people decided to show up today, because it's been a good day so far, as far as the space things are concerned. <laughs> I mean... We're gonna need the periapsis and apoapsis height. Uh, I need this one for the delta V remaining. And that, so I can tell MechJeb to stop in case it needs to. So, slowing fuel down and ignition. It's ignition number two out of five possible. Oh, I didn't upgrade the RD58 on this stage. We could get more Delta V if we got a better RD58. This is just the baseline one. So, if we come up short. That's something I need to do. I'm gonna switch Magjeb to kill rotation so that uh, I can deviate from retrograde if it turns out our periapsis is getting a little bit too low. And I feel like maybe we can do some of that here. Oh, uh, maybe I'm doing this the wrong way around. Uh, maybe I should have been pitching down. We're really low on the periapsis, but that might be- we could just leave it like that and land there. I don't know if the periapsis is gonna be a very well lit place though. I think 22 kilometers should be safe. I, I won't waste the RCS. I'm very afraid of just running out of RCS then we can't even turn this stage, so um, that wouldn't be nice. Well, the sun's gonna set. We are recharging for now. 
we need to make sure we keep having that's so rugged i don't want to land on that <laughs> who wants to land on that really crikey no i think it reduces the time warp limit when we're below 30 kilometers maybe Well, again, this is always this was always going to be an exercise in patience to some extent. So our stage now is 2532, which should be enough to do most of the landing and then we'll have the lander stage do the final bit. So we're still good for landing. It looks like this periapsis is definitely nighttime. Radar altitude only 8 kilometers or less. So that's pretty tight. We're basically just waiting for daylight. Still losing charge, but maybe we can time more faster now. Oh, there's the sun. Alright. So we've got sunlight. Is there a way to display, like, just resources in this stage? That would be helpful. Right now, it's not even showing all the resources because they don't fit into the list. I would. I should probably adjust distant object enhancement just so that we get, like, stars even though it's daylight <laughs> because uh, I know that's not legal but you know it'd be nice still well if I could sort of keep the sun out the window while I retro burn that will at least not be unpleasant we're getting a little bit high up well, I'll risk it. I don't know what the ground's gonna be like when we touch down, but um, let's just go for it. We're headed towards the sun, so at least it'll be bright, hopefully. Okay, Arceus. And, uh, you know, actually... That'll be most helpful. Initial burn ignition. Okay, I'm gonna shut down there. We have two more ignitions. Uh, I think I see shadowy indications of the surface there. Not totally sure. Uh, yeah, well, I was trying to pick a lighter landing spot. I at least can uh, have made sure that the sun's up, but we really couldn't see the surface. I mean, it's tough to figure out what angle to see the surface at, because, you know, the way we're pointing at is above us, so, I mean, the, the whole role, it's all complicated. I'm trying to figure out how to see the surface out the window. I don't know my, like, suicide burn countdown or anything like that. I do have my latitude and longitude, though, if you want to look up where the heck we are. 15 degrees north, 28 degrees west at the moment. Well, let's ignite. And there's totally instrument flight here.
Oh, well, a little bit of up is probably good. Okay, stop. And set. And ignition. Please. Uh, maybe we don't have ignition. Um, ignition? Okay. That's good. I'll take that ignition. Gear down. I think the separation only started the RCS. So. I can't see squat. <laughs> No, I'm 1.8 kilometers above the surface. And our previous stage impacted on the surface. Otherwise, my knowledge of the surface is no. I'm gonna shut down. I think we're wasting. Yeah, I could be landing on a pointy spike. I could be landing on a starship. <laughs> I don't know what that impact was. <laughs> I don't like secondary impacts. I don't know what that was either. Why, why does where do things keep exploding? I know. I don't like explodey things. I like starships that don't explode. Oh, oh, oh we used an extra ignition there. Oh, gosh darn it. I turned off the center lander engine. Oh. Well, that was a little bit sideways, but I believe we landed. I wish we had a window that could verify this properly. <laughs> uh. We have 3,100.6 meters per second left. That may be enough to get back home, maybe not. It's really, really tough to say. Well, okay. Do I have permission to go into exterior view now? Not a whole lot of sunlight around here. But we are recharging. How much... How much... Radiation... Uh, Jeb only got 1% radiation, so like... Last time we got 99% radiation somehow, I have no idea how. We didn't put any additional shielding on. Okay. So, the question is, how do I transfer back... To... Earth. Um, I guess we can just... Go... Get to orbit first and figure that out afterwards. So, back inside. Alright, I want to reignite the center RD858, which is, uh, I... No, we're not gonna moonwalk, darn it. <laughs> um, it's a waste of time. So, that's not what I'm trying to test. So, anyway, but... I turned off that engine so that we could actually get a low enough thrust weight ratio to land, but now it'll help us get to orbit quicker. Which will save some delta V. But then, how the heck do I get back home without plotting it? You know, there's no... I'm not allowed to do maneuver nodes or anything like that. So... I did it last time, but I don't remember how I did it last time. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish I had taken notes for what the heck I did, but... Alright, well, we'll get to orbit and figure it out. Um, actually, that uh, makeshift can be off, that's fine. I'll put the, that information up here. Alright. Alright, RCS on now. Oh, wow, it's really firing. Um, alright, alright. RCS, yes, and on. And, well, we saw a plume there. I'm just gonna go 90. The apoapsis is really, really high. So it was around 19 degrees north, 25 degrees west. Well, I'm gonna try and sight Earth out the window. We can target Earth. We can target Earth using Mechjeb. That we can do. Actually, that, that might be enough. Yeah, maybe that's how I did it last time. Gotta turn off the center engine again. Oh, I guess we can retract the gear. Shouldn't matter a whole lot, but... Okay, that apoapsis is going a little bit high. These engines should have 12 ignitions altogether, so I think we're okay on that. I think. <laughs> okay... Uh, we'll still need an ignition to round out to orbit here. Okay, so... Mechjib. Um... Target Celestials. Earth. I think, uh... Earth would be at like a 60 degree angle up if we're gonna be coming back. It's coming around like this uh, at about 10 to 11 o'clock. If the moon's orbit is 12 o'clock, then Earth will be above us. Uh, it should be in view, and but it won't be straight above us, straight above the lunar surface. It'll be sort of a angle above the lunar surface about 50-60 degrees because that'll be the equivalent of the 10-11 o'clock thing. So, that's what we're looking for. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I thought about that. All right, we've got 1,129.5 meters per second. Well, we're going to... C. I'm going to turn off the SAS and I'm going to try and spot Earth. Does it, did it select that as a target or not? Well, hmm. What speed will we burn to? Uh, it should be about 800. I mean, uh, it, it should be that we use 800. So 2400 is the speed. But why is it not... Is it... Did it target Earth or not? I don't know. Um, oh well, I'll let you... No, it doesn't have the target thing highlighted, so I guess not. I think I might have to just look at the Earth to see. I don't think it's... It's not letting me target. So, we need a visual sighting of Earth. That's not fun. Because, you know, seeing anything out this window is has not been easy. I don't know why we can't target... Well, probably because the moon orbits Earth. I don't know. Oh, wait. The longitude might help. I mean... What side of the moon the sun was shining on? Not exactly. But it is a fixed longitude that we would be departing from, right? 
I need like a globe of because there's only one side of the moon that faces the Earth, so it's gonna be a fixed longitude that we would burn out of. Um, okay, well, hmm, hmm. The question is whether they set the coordinate system the same way, I suppose. We are 64 degrees east, it says. In theory, we would be just south of Mare Crisium. But we can't see the surface anyway. Um, I mean, we've got the coordinate technique as a way of uh, trying to figure out how to get back home, but that's sketchy if they it turns out they use different coordinates than my map here. Yeah. And actually it'll be pretty soon after sunrise, I think, maybe? Well, the previous take, our, our capture tank didn't have enough uh, insulation so the fuel boiled off too quickly. So we didn't have enough to uh, do the landing, so we just went back home. We returned back to Earth. That was successful, um, but we didn't make a landing, so it ended up Apollo 8-ish. The first time, I don't remember what was what it was that went wrong. I think the first time was I just missed the moon. The view outside the window has been really frustrating today. I, I wonder if it's the... hold on. Mm. I wonder if... because I've got the this post-processing mod, maybe... Can we just, like, uh, well, it's still IBA. Let me just disable a whole bunch of effects. Maybe that's preventing me from seeing. Let's just not have any effects in IBA. Okay. That's fine. Bloom, depth of field is off. Motion blur, I turned off. Turn, no, fine, that's probably, okay. I don't know, maybe that'll help spotting, maybe that was artificially darkening the moon or something. Okay, well. That's the sun again. Oh, there! Okay, I swear it was... Oh, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Stay that way. I think it was the post-processing mod that was actually making it hard to spot the surface of the moon. Well, unfortunately that doesn't help me navigate right now. We're too close to the moon to see what crater we're over. Sun and the moon horizon. Yeah, well if I wish I knew where the moon was in its orbit, that'd be great. Without knowing where the moon is in its orbit, the... Moon horizon... The sun-moon horizon relationship uh, isn't very useful. If things are right, right now, if my map has the same sort of baseline coordinate system as the game does, then we would be past Mare Smith... Smithy Eye? And that's what we'd be looking out over? Hmm. Can't say it looks like a Mare to me, but... So I'm expecting, though, that we would burn close to sunrise, but I'm not sure. Do I have what time it is on Earth? I don't believe so, no. When we departed Earth, though, we were we saw a dark Earth. So it, it seemed to be nighttime when we departed on this side. Hmm. Might have might contribute to the fact that we haven't really spotted Earth during this mission. So, that's gonna be another problem. But, I'm expecting that negative 60-ish is where we want to, or uh, 60 degrees west is where we want to burn. 60, maybe negative uh, 50 sort of thing. So, we're on the opposite side from that now. Nope, there's the sun. Okay, that tracks more or less. 
Uh, in theory, I would see some glimmer of Earth around here. The sun might just be too bright to see the Earth. Oh, I see it! Uh... I think... Oh, you can't really... If I'm at this angle, can you see? Can you see the circle of the Earth? No, I don't think that's a sun flare. Not that, not the one at the top, at the one at the bottom. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Before uh, we have to transfer, that should cover the sun. I really wish it'd stop wiggling. Remember, I thought Earth should be about a 60 degree angle from the ground. It's tough to tell what the angle is. Um, let's see. I point at it through the window here. And that's like 50-ish there. Uh, well, that's like... 80-ish, so I mean, maybe that's 40 degrees, and if that's 40 degrees and we're at longitude 72 degrees west, um, by 60 it'll be at 52. So that might be a good place to start. Yeah, we finally see the moon is wonderful, isn't it? Okay, there's 60 degrees longitude, and... Out the window, let's say right there, that's 35-ish degrees. Point down. Because we're gonna stop sighting it soon. Okay, that, that looks enough to me. Okay. So, time to go prograde. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, I want actually this RCS forward and ignition. Looking to have 290 left after the burn. Okay. Uh, it's not really showing me what happens around Earth, unfortunately. So, 290, I said. We'll see how that works for us. Okay, we need to make sure we are recharging. We are. Well, let's get out of... We'll only know what's happening when we get out of the moon's SOI, so... Let's go... Oh, there's more moon surface. Briefly. Oh, more moon surface. Well, if it doesn't charge our uh, change our ability to recharge, let's keep the moon in view. How are our consumables? Last time we had some problem with the lithium hydroxide and the scrubber and everything. The non-regen scrubber, whatever the heck that is, is nearly done. We've still got plenty of lithium hydroxide. I don't even know why the non-regen scrubber has a time limit. When I mean, shouldn't it just be related to the lithium hydroxide? Okay. Alright. Uh, periapsis is way high, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully it's not going to take too much to bring that down. Okay, we have enough. Oh, that's a little too far. Uh, 77 meters per second left there. <laughs> I forget what altitude I used last time. Let's go with 58. Okay, 21 hours. 20 hours. 
eight, seven, two. Okay. We're actually at geosynchronous satellite orbit right now, but we're only two hours to the Earth. Gives you an idea how fa how slow it is coming in initially and how fast it is at the end. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Well, right now, anyway. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Up, oh, none the other way. I uh, should probably check what my periapsis is after all that turning, huh? Uh, 63.4. Hmm. Well, maybe a mild correction is in order. You always think, oh no, we're gonna miss it, and then it sucks you in. Whereabouts are we anyway? Oh, that's uh, that was the Caspian Sea, uh, Black Sea thing, and then the Mediterranean, and that's the uh, Red Sea there, and Suez Canal, and the Nile. We're gonna land in the Sahara, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, I don't think uh, we're gonna be hitting a mountain, no. Okay, service module dispensing time. Okay, and off. Okay, all right, all right. I don't think we're gonna see it. So, surface has fell plus because the heat shield's on top of us. It's not the time to have PID issues, MacJeb. Okay, 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 okay. It's definitely having issues. I don't understand what it's trying to do here, but... Please stop going away from the forward vector, please? Please settle down, please settle down. We are in the atmosphere. Indeed. Bad time for a computer error indeed. Oh, that's really going too far. It's going too far. What is it doing? Ah. Uh... Ah! Uh, no! No, don't do it! Oh, no. Why? I managed it last time. So again, I mean, we decouple the surface module, we press surface positive. Maybe this is just too light and this side was just too heavy. So, but I mean, it's not like it'll ever show me a valid center of lift or anything. So, I bet 
the problem was that I still had the solar arrays out. And I should have retracted those. No, the other stage, was, we, we definitely decoupled it. Otherwise, it would have... I checked. I checked by looking at the Delta V and saw that red zero. That That's how I knew that the other stage had decoupled. So, there's no thruster... I mean, there's RCS on here, but it wouldn't read a Delta V. But if the solar panels are still out, that might have been just enough to flip us around before they blew up. And then we blew up because the capsule can't take the heat if it's oriented that way. So, my fault. I probably had the solar panels out, I think. But it's also possible that there's not enough ablator to bring the center of mass forward enough. Uh, I'm leaning towards the solar panel theory. Okay. Well, I landed on the moon. <laughs> Almost made it back. Jeb died again. Oh well.